Today we are making graveyard mousse, which is basically chocolate mousse. You will find all the ingredients and the details of the recipe in the description box. To make the chocolate mousse you will need melted chocolate. Always start by melting your chocolate au bain marie, which means that you put it in a bowl in water and not directly heat up the chocolate, this prevents it from burning. You will split your eggs and mix each of the eggs with half of the sugar. In my case I am using 2 eggs and 25 grams of sugar each. Start by mixing your egg whites until they're fully hardened and you can kind of flip over the bowl. Next you will start mixing the egg yellows, also with sugar of course, and you will mix this until it has become a slightly pale yellow, as you can see here it is not as intense as it was before. Then we're gonna add in the whipped cream, just add your cream, this was 200 milliliters of whipped cream for 2 eggs and 25 grams of sugar. And you will mix this until the whipped cream is completely integrated and stiff so that you can start afterwards mixing in the chocolate. Once your chocolate has completely melted, add it little at a time to your egg yellow mixture. So as you can see here, I'm using a spoon and afterwards I'm using a spatula to clean it out of everything. Once that is well mixed, just pour everything into the egg white bowl and start mixing it again. Once you have one really nice and smooth mixture, you will pour this into a piping bag as I'm doing here again with a freezer bag. And that's actually really the easiest way to get everything into their little cups. Now you will see me just pouring it in with a spoon as well, but it is a lot messier. And this was actually the perfect amount for six of these kind of wine glassish cups. So then you will put it into the fridge to cool down for at least 8 hours. Finally it's time for decorations, I did this the next day so my chocolate mousse had time to set in the fridge. I am using pickup biscuits to make the tombstones and one of the Dr. Utker chocolate pens to write on them. I am simply writing R.I.P on each and every one of them. And once you have written this onto the biscuits it is time to pop them into the chocolate mousse as you would with a tombstone into a grave, I think. I am using these chocolate sprinkles on half of them and for the other half I am crushing some chocolate brownie Oreos and I actually preferred the ones with the Oreos, they looked better in my opinion and they also tasted better, but this is the delicious finished result. Want to see how you can create this graveyard inspired dessert? Head over to Cindy's channel!